the strategy is clear. Fill in the blanks on YouTube with keyword phrases and keyword rich text. Over the course of the next couple of segments, we're going to talk about exactly which of those blanks on YouTube are most important to fill in and how to come up with the right keywords and keyword phrases for your specific business. Right, Christy. We're going to spend quite a bit of time on selecting and implementing the right keywords for your business, how to find them, what to do with them once you've found them, and the most powerful words specifically for your business. But the crux of web video means business, the playbook, is web video. In this segment, I discuss the videos themselves. First thing I want to do is start to help you, anyone who's fearful or uncomfortable. I want to help you overcome any fear, doubt, or consternation about doing video for your business. I believe right now it is critical to your business to have not only a video on the home page that identifies your business well, but have a campaign on YouTube that makes certain to get your business up on the top of Google. I'll, you know I'm going to be harping on that. Let me start with this. A couple of things about video. Video is not hard to do. Whatever's in your head about that, we're going to dispel that. I'm going to show you some simple ways that if you're able enough to use the computer you're watching this on, then you're able enough to get some video out to make sure you're indexed properly on Google. Second, video does not have to be expensive to do. I'm going to be providing techniques that might allow you to do this for nothing. Thirdly, video is magical, especially in terms of customer engagement. I'm just going to leave it at that. I think everybody knows that and that's why you're here. And fourth, video is fantastically fun and rewarding. I call it child's play. It just is so exciting to know you're able to generate moving graphical images that are going to suck people in, keep them in, in terms of business, sell your product and services. Our technique it requires the uploading of multiple videos or multiples of multiples of videos to ensure success. But for a moment, I want to talk about the individual videos. You know what, here's a delicious graphic to help me explain what I'm talking about. Each video in your series should share certain elements. The best way I've found to describe this to all my clients is as a video sandwich. Okay, so what we have is a, an opening where essentially you've seen it on many, many videos on TV, on commercials. Hi, this is Robert Scott from this company and this is what we do. What we're talking about is who, what, where, and why. Who am I? What do I do? What's the name of my company? And where is it? And why? Why am I going to have you watch this video? What am I about to teach you? And here comes the title of my video. The opening is the introduction into the title. Be careful just to have a nice welcome, a nice hello. Get your client in comfortably. Now, if your business is on the edge, of course, your video should be a bit more on the edge. If your business is very buttoned down, I'd say the opening and the closing and the middle of the sandwich should be buttoned down. And further, I'd suggest that you look at a lot of videos on the internet. You'll notice that a lot of the openings are very similar. And then we move into the meat of the sandwich, the middle of your video. You've introduced the video. You've given it a title to let everybody know what you're about to talk about. And now the meat of your video is really just banter from you on the subject matter. I suggest you write it out before you start so you know what the types of things you're going to talk about. At least make an outline. However, as a professional in your field, there's a pretty good chance you can just get on camera and talk for about two minutes on any single subject in your business. And that's basically what the meat part of your sandwich is going to be. A two-minute discussion of a specific topic on your business and of course laden with keywords. And then we come to the close of the video, the finish. Again, this is a piece you probably want to repeat in every video, something shoot once, use it many times, just like the opening. And here's the most powerful 
opportunity to deliver your calls to action. Tell your viewer what to do next. Tell them to click on your website. Tell them what to do if they are interested in what they just saw and how to buy it and make darn sure you've made that easy as well. In other words, they're going to be able to click on your website from the description box below. Make sure wherever they're clicking to, they're within a click or two of having the opportunity to buy your item. Don't make it difficult to buy. That's what the video sandwich looks like, an opening, some meat in the middle, and a close.